Well, it's not my anniversary. It's his anniversary, mm. Chef Wolfgang Pock. What are you eating already? My fish. Oh. I made my very good fish. So I, it was it, so fresh. Marianne caught the good fish this morning. She said she went <laughs> Thank fishing. God. You're a busy girl. Yeah. <laughs> They're fishing Small for eggs. fresh fish. Small eggs, big apples. She said it's Wolfgang's um, anniversary. <laughs> I'm going to catch fresh she, fish. I'm going to catch a big fish. <laughs> All right, Wolfgang. Well, now we're going to move into your famous bowls. But we're really yeah. excited today. We have a great introductory price. It's an eight-piece set. This is, again, probably the last bowls you'll ever need. And they're just totally. so durable and so smart. I'll okay, let me put that I'll away. This way for you. Okay. All right, now everybody needs bowls at home. Most of the people at home, and I tell you, I go to a lot of houses, expensive houses, rich people, whatever. Mm -hmm. You go into their kitchen and they have bowls covered with aluminum foil with onions in it. The whole thing smells. Or they have some of them which are half broken and they try to make salad in here. So we have all this crab at home. Yeah, with stain from a tomato sauce. Like if I would put my fish with the tomato sauce, which has uh, acidity in it from the tomatoes and the wine in here, it will stain the plastic. Plastic is no place in the kitchen. So even some of the metal is not the 1810. That's so right. yeah. get rid of all that things like that. You know, you don't want it in your kitchen. It's not sanitary, it's not good for you. Why people have that, I don't know. It's amazing, yeah. It's not expensive. How much is our set of bowls, 40 bucks? Yeah, $40 and five flex and free shipping tonight for the first I time. I know, and you get the bowls and the cover. Yeah, you get four of the bowls, and then you get the stay lock cover, which is really brilliant. And Silicone bases, and you've got colors tonight. We have black, blue, green, orange, yeah. pink, and red. And you know what is great? It is a hermetically sealed <laughs> lid on top. Now, you know what is in here? You all do barbecue, you all do stuff like that. I marinate the meat. This is for our Chinua chicken salad. Yeah, so, and it was, he did have stuff in there. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> See that? So we marinated. Why do I want to marinate it and close it up? I don't want a refrigerator where I have milk in it or butter in it or cream in it or whatever. F uh, stays like that or bread or whatever it is, you know. So you want that to close hermetically. And then you can cook it on the grill or wherever. So now, if I want to marinate shrimp, give me a few shrimp, Marianne. Okay. So you have the marinade in here. Mix it well together. Lori. Shrimp. Lori. Shrimp, please. And then Lori. put the shrimp in here, put them shrimp. in the refrigerator. Sure, perfect. So right. then you don't have to worry about foils fitting around right. or not. And you're not using little wimpy plastic yeah. bowls. And these are all stainless steel. A couple features, Chef. And you it has the silicone yeah. bottom. And I'm going to show, show you why we put it. You Isn't know, that way they are so sturdy. It's really the best way to. Now, why do you do more of a flat bottom, too? Because when I whisk, for example, I'm going to show you. I make a vinaigrette. I don't want to have a bottom like it's that. Just because keep wobbling if, on you, right? If I whisk and I put oil in it, I want it to be sturdy. Right. So on that way, they stay. Or like in the summertime, I use them to serve salads outside because mm -hmm. I don't worry if kids the kids play and then they throw something on the floor it doesn't break right. if I have a nice glass bowl or a uh, porcelain bowl they will break so now here look at that I have the shrimps in here with garlic ginger ready to go on your barbecue or saute them and but can you understand if you put that in your refrigerator and this is not sealed hermetically what will happen? The refrigerator by tomorrow morning will smell like shrimp and it will smell like garlic and ginger. It will be disgusting. That's right. So now you don't have to worry with that. See that? And I love it too. If you're taking something like dressing and yeah. you're going to go to someone's house and you, you always build a great salad yeah. and then he puts the dressing in here and pops it on top takes it all with you, and it's not gonna spill when you're in the car and when you're traveling or moving. All right, here's an update. The orange and the red are the most limited right now. They all will stack together. In fact, this four-piece set, which includes one quart, two quart, three quart, and this is the five quart, all fits like this. Yep. So I love that too, Chef, because it doesn't take up any room. Exactly, they nest yep. together, so which makes it really easy. So now, if we have something to make the vinaigrette or not? already made for you. Oh, the, okay. The All right. Chicken, now look at that. Okay, Marianne doesn't trust me anymore, so oh, she made her own true. thing. Okay, so now you have your salad. You can take it with you to the office and keep the dressing in a separate bowl. You don't want to toss the salad in the morning when you go to the office. And then 
you don't have a fresh crunchy salad. It will be all wilted. So what you do is you mix your salad, put a little dressing. All right. Now the rest you can take home or maybe some of your coworkers gonna love it. And then you just stir it up. You know what, Chef, I learned a trick to put the lid on and then shake the whole thing. Yeah, but this is very full, so it will be a little harder. So yes, it's yeah. easy, like, just to turn it over like that. See that? Right, Chef, we're going to say hi to Karen in Alabama. Hi, hi Karen. Hi, Karen in, in Alabama. Hi. I'm Welcome. so happy to talk with you. Uh, I'm even yeah. happier to talk to you. Where are you in Alabama, Karen? Um, near Huntsville. Huntsville, Alabama. All right. I like the Alabama football team. Do you like them? <laughs> uh, no, it's too hot. I, I need to be up north. <laughs> okay, okay. But I'm calling about these mixing bowls. Yeah? I bought them a couple of months ago, uh -huh. and I am in love with them. Uh -huh. Oh, my goodness. The bottom. I can mix things, and it doesn't slip and slide all over. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? And the one that has the hole in the top, yeah. it's so nice because I can put that handheld... Uh, mixer that you have uh -huh. and put it in there and mix things and it doesn't go everywhere. Exactly. Make your whipped cream, make your egg whites, whatever it is, and you don't have to clean the whole kitchen. Right. And the other thing I wanted to mention is even after I've used them, they still look so shiny. They look brand new. Oh, thank but you. But there's one question I have. Yeah. Can they be, can those be put in the oven? Absolutely, in the oven, not on the stove top on gas, or, but in the oven you can bake your bread in it. Okay, that's, I haven't tried that because I wasn't completely sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the silicone is oven safe. The lid's not, don't put the lid in the oven. Yeah. But the silicone base is, is, can be and can be put in the oven, so it, it's gonna hold up beautifully. Yeah. Okay. So well, you can make I, your I, pound cake, your bread, whatever you do, put it right in there and bake it. Well, thank you, Karen. Thank Take you, care. Karen. Stay cool. I just want to show you, this is what Karen's talking about. In the five uh, quart, which is the biggest guy, there's a hole in the top. It's great to add ingredients, but mm -hmm. she was talking about when she's whipping something, yeah. you don't, it's a splatter guard, basically. So it's great because this pops on the top, so now it's perfectly sealed, but if you want to get access to it to do whip, maybe a whipped cream yeah. or some type of dessert, you've got that hole to be able to work inside the bowl without splattering now, everything everywhere. Look at that. So you say, why you need a big bowl? Look at that. Here wow. we made a beautiful chicken salad in this bowl. It's Perfect. Put a little Perfect. scallion on top, maybe, and then maybe a few wonton, fried wontons. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Look at that. And it's just like you have in our restaurant, Chino. I started that 34 years ago. Did you really? And and my favorite salad. Is I know. Really? And this still, salad is. I love it. The original. Yeah. We oh, serve wow. it. At, we serve it at the airports. We serve it in our cafes. But at Chino, people just come for that. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, by the way, this is how popular these bowls have been. Now listen to this stat: 350,000 sets, not bowls. Sets of these bowls have been ordered. They've always been a customer pick, yeah. Chef, since you first well, launched You them. know what? This is something you really need at home because as I showed you, these plastic bowls are disgusting. They're not sanitary. And you could make a good meringue in there. If you know, if you whip the egg whites for your uh, banana cream pie or for your, uh, what do you call it, the key lime pie or for your baked Alaska or for any cake you have to fold in egg whites. So with this bowls you can keep them perfectly clean, no fat inside, no molecules of fat grow into the plastic like with the things we had here. Okay, Chef, we're going to show what Marion's doing too. Marion, what are you making us? This is a beautiful ganache over a double boiler. Yeah. You know, you couldn't put a plastic bowl over a double boiler. You'd be afraid that it would melt or glass, you'd be afraid that it would break. Um, yeah. break. But we also baked cakes in the little ones. I know our lovely caller was asking about them going in the oven. Of course they can go in the oven. They're Wolfgang Puck. They're designed for that. But look how nice when you have Wolfgang in your kitchen. This is how you can show off. Mm -hmm. But it's really simple when you have the right tools. That's right. Have you, Marion, have you ever accidentally grabbed an old bowl and started to whisk something and went, oh my gosh. Like, you become used to it, but it's so awkward when you don't have them around. Absolutely. Isn't that you know? funny? It's like you get so used to how convenient they are. Literally, we can move the table just by pushing on the bowl. Yeah. That's how strong that silicone is. Yeah. It doesn't wobble. They don't slide around. You're not chasing the bowl. No, you're when you something. look at look and at that, I show you one thing. Move. So I have the dressing here. Look at that. 
Now, a regular pole will go like like this, right. you know, right, because right. it's not flat. This right. one is totally flat. Look at that. And that silicone keeps it locked in yeah, place. Yeah, it, it sticks almost like to yeah, the ground. It does. It absolutely does. All right, Chef, let's go on down here because I want to show um, a couple more things that we have. Okay, Marianne, what are we making? I'm waiting for you. For me? Okay, yeah. what are you having? <laughs> Take the Alaska? Please. Look at that egg white. You want to can make it by hand in here in no time. A good exercise. So it's Greg. egg white and sugar. Greg. See, nice and stiff here. Okay. Then you put it over ice cream. We made our ice cream here. What was it? Our mint and chocolate. We made, we made the chocolate chip mint ice cream last yeah. hour. We have the ice cream maker back in stock if you missed out. Um, we're going to say hi to Bernice in California, Chef. Bernice, yeah. you're on with Chef Wolfgang Puck. Hi, how are you? I am excellent. Are you still awake? It's late, no? <laughs> oh, yes, but I have to watch the show. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so you ordered the bowls, I understand, Bernice. The bowls and the cooking, well, the uh, pots and pans. Oh, oh, we got the Today fantastic. Special. Can All I right. come over when you cook with them? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, my sister is having a kitchen remodel. Yeah? And I had the pots and pans sent to my sister. So you have to get them a little bit later from her. <laughs> right? No, no she, she's going to keep, I have five, I bought five sets. So. Oh, you gave her the set tonight. Oh, oh, I, I, yes. Oh, aren't you an awesome I, I, sister? Oh, nice, nice, all <laughs> yeah. right. I need you as a relative, Bernice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can we all sign up with you? <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, we're good family, I want you to know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, if you have so many sets and now you're gifting them to your sister, what is it that you love about Chef's Cookware? I'll tell you, it's nothing better. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, and why is that? Because the way it's made and the yeah. thing is still, it's still, it's perfect. It is tough. I, it's yeah. My sister, she always wanted a set of stainless steel pots and pans. Yeah. And she had one pot, and somebody took it from her. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. So well, now I she has a whole set. So now she has a whole set. Aren't yeah. you sweet? Well, Bernice, thank you, sweetie. Thank hey, you, Hey, I Bernice. do want to mention, too, while you're on the line.